Well, that'd be a chills. No, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Otherwise, I might need some healing. <laughs> you will. <laughs> yeah. Right, and what's your first name? Ross. Ross, all right. And you're happy to be filmed, Ross? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Right, so, uh, Ross, tell us what has happened to your spine. Well, I've, I've always had a... I've always been into uh, sports and all that. Yeah. And I broke my back when I was 36 and I got better. Right. But I was driving a truck and there were no um, ladders up back at trailer and I slipped and smashed my spine. 13 vertebrae smashed and two touched my spinal cord. Ooh. And doctor went, when I had my MRI, the doctor said to me, you should be in a wheelchair. You, you know, but mm. I've only had to, had to come in there, yeah. you know, because of my spine. Because when I stand up now, it feels like somebody's pushing down on it. Right, yeah. okay. So what I'm going to get you to do, if you can wheel your wheelchair around that way. Now, I don't do any kind of manipulation because I'm not qualified. I'm not a remedial massage therapist. If, if I do touch the body, it's only going to be a very, very gentle touch. Um, the advantage of this for me as a healer is that if a condition were to get worse, well, it wasn't me. I never touched him. It would make a really interesting court case, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to touch him, but hopefully... Yeah. We're not going to make him worse. I don't usually make clients worse. Usually they do get remarkably better. Now I've just got to move this out of my way apparently. So just bear with me a moment. Push this into the corner. And this has got to come further out. Uh, and this is because there's some metal there. And um, I'll stand it back away back. Okay. Now a conventional doctor, in order to heal something, well actually what do they heal conventional medicine? Hmm. <laughs> They can prescribe drugs, can't they? Mm. But what can they actually heal, as in without surgery? It's, it's quite a hard one, isn't it? And, and there's a reason for it, and it's this. Con what, we, what we are now calling conventional medicine, first of all, I want to say, we ain't called it conventional for very long, because <laughs> my grandma, you know, my grandma's been spiritual a long time now, but she'd call it newfangled. This pharmaceutical drugs is the newfangled. What I'm doing is the conventional, which is the healing, which is the ways of the wise woman in the village and the wise men. But we've been brainwashed to call the newfangled pharmaceutical drug industry, which is what it is, it's a drug industry, mm -hmm. conventional. Isn't that interesting? That's only happened through two generations. Yeah? And I get called new age. No, actually, this is the conventional way that we used to heal. Anyway. So your traditional doctor at the moment isn't going to look in, at the space around the physical. Why? Because they really don't understand its significance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they can't see it under a microscope, if they can't put it up, pick it up on an ultrasound, it doesn't exist. Does love exist? Yeah. Yeah. Does fear yeah. exist? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can't see those things. We can see them expressing through facial features or somebody clenching their teeth or their fist, but we can't see them under a microscope and nearly all diseases are caused by something that is non-physical that we can't see. And this is the science of quantum physics. Paraplegia, the surgeon that comes through me is called Dr. Oswaldo Cruz. He specializes on the spine. E now, Ross, how are you feeling? <laughs> it felt like going that way when you were doing that. I felt you were going to one side. Yeah. Isn't that weird? No. Yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm intentional to say, can we try getting you to stand just yeah, to see stand, how you yeah. feel? I'll stand. <laughs> See if um, I don't collapse. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad. Yeah. That's a start, isn't no, it? Because no. it's all here. Yeah. Where the oh, damn that's where we're two vertebrae are touching my spine. Yeah. Just there. Right. Yeah. So at the moment, how does it feel in that area? Fine at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know I've took my tablets, lad, but and normally when I prod it. Yeah. yeah, it hurts. And it's not yeah. working. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? I hate it <laughs> <laughs> It's not taken long, has it, so far? Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is just facing that way, holding that chair for support. I'm just going to move the wheelchair out of the way. Because there is more that I do need to do. Um, but we need the wheelchair out of the way first. Okay. 
So just for the benefit of people at home, because I know we talked about this off camera before we started filming, so it was possible before for you to stand, you just can't do it for any length of time, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Cool. E so what the surgeon's doing now, it's like he's cutting a trench down the right leg to ground energy from those vertebrae. So Ross, I want you to notice, I want you to notice the right side of your body, particularly the right leg, yeah, the left side of the body. What's feeling different now about that right side? It feels a bit lighter. Yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome. E would it be fair to say it feels lighter, but you also feel stronger? Well, I do feel, yeah, I do feel stronger, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Walk around a little bit for me. The reason that this is significant is the surgeon needs feedback on what has moved and how it's moved. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but no more. <laughs> cool. Yeah, because normally I have to walk with a stick. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Right. You're not going to believe the improvement in this man. Watch this. Right, okay. So turn that way. All right, so now he's going to do a, look how much straighter he's standing, eh? Am I? Yes. The surgeon just said you were not going to believe what happens next. All right, so watch this. The so sound is used to make the vibrate, your cells vibrate, and as your cells vibrate, they let go of what they've been holding on to. <laughs> this activity now, this very fast clapping is dispersing energy. This uh, is like having a hammer and chisel to remove what needs to be removed. Now walk again, Ross, and see how that feels. Hey, what better? He's actually <laughs> stepping now, yeah. isn't, it? He is. isn't this cool? Because normally when I do that, it hurts. Yeah, yeah. it's not hurting, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I have a, a right. run? No. <laughs> Just do that thing again with your legs again, what you're doing, what normally it hurts. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Right, now what you're doing is you're moving them back. What I want you to do is move them this way. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is good. That is good. <laughs> <It's always Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him. He's been naked. Oh, He's oh, just been so. lazy for I've years. Had, I've had two MRIs. <laughs> I know, I yeah. know, but I'm only kidding you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I am kidding you, but... Yeah, can't believe it. <laughs> Isn't that good? Any pain? No. No pain? No pain. Zero pain? Yeah. Isn't that good? Was yeah. there anything you couldn't do before? Apart from walk. <laughs> I couldn't kick like that. When I, I do uh, pull uh, aerobics and I couldn't kick like that because I used to just collapse. Yeah. It's touching my spine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. This is going to be So if, if you are Ross's doctor, come and see me. <laughs> yeah. This is for real. Yeah. Ross I've been, been able to do it for 24 years. And the reason I'm putting things on film is that people need to know this is possible. Brilliant. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. I always have to have to sit down when I don't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were my doctor. Blimey. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. Lime. laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Dear me. And that we'd be glad he came then. Oh, I am, yeah. <laughs> you, you've got your value for money, yeah. don't you?